this is literally John Ezra 55 back again with another video for you guys. Today, we are opening a shiny legend elite trainer box today. Ten packs. See what we get out of this thing. Shiny Lulu doesn't look bad. Eh, I was, that was terrible. Alright. Let's see what we get out of this. Foolish pack. Let me get it. And these packs are a heck of a hard to open the back. There we go. There we go. There. Oh, fighting actually. Going to our next pack. Next pack, you guys. Just all of this pack to open for some reason. There we go. Super skip up, some cop girls, double colors, nice. Outer line, Voltable, Glass, Weasel, Scraggy, Reverse Electroid, and an Ante GX, guys. Look at that. First GX here. First, first one. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Let's see what else we can get out of this box. Amazingness. Got an ente. Pretty nice. Okay. Yep. I can't remember if he was good or not. Uh, so far, right now, people don't think he's that good yet. I don't think anybody's tried him before Kenny yet. What's he do again? I can't. His first long. attack is Combustion for 50 energy, and then second attack is Fire Fang for 100. It takes 3 energy, uh, and the opponent's active Pokemon is Burn, so I guess that's good, but it only does 100. What's the GX? GX attack Brave Burden does 150 damage to when your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you basically could snipe a Pokemon off the bench that's 150 HP. Yeah. Well, well, that, that would hit anything but a not, well, almost every stage 2 that isn't a GX. Yeah. 150. Unless you're using Volcanion. If you're using Volcanion, you steam up. I think no, that does not work. Is, uh, 
Okay. Th there is almost nothing that increases attacks to the bench. Yeah, okay. There's only been okay. a handful okay. of cards that do that. Okay, makes sense. And most of them, I think, are in expanded or older. Makes sense. Uh, and, and the ones I do know that do that, um, it's like you have to do a combo attack. I bet you or, probably so you do. It's, I can't. With the, with, first you do this buff attack, and then you, and then you hit him. The actual attack that hits. Uh, it's like, um, what was it? Um, it was a feather dance. Well, I think uh, I remember it that. It's a swana and an unpheasant that said, all the all this thing's attacks do X more damage. It was like 40 or 80. And then... So you do that, and then second turn you do something that does spread. Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. that you, that's what they used to have. Yeah, they, they, they seem to have changed the wording more recently. Yeah. Four. Let's see what else I got here. Very yeah, energy. There was like a, I think people were trying to make it work. There was a, uh, they used a uh, X, um, Unpheasant, and then I think Spinda. So the Mew yeah. first copied the Unpheasant's Feather Dance to increase your attacks by 80, and then the Spinda hit everything for 10 yeah. normally, but with the Unpheasant, it means you were hitting everything for, like, 90. Jeez. <laughs> that, but, it's um, a no so wonder that's expanded. That you have an EX, which has, um, is vulnerable because it has... At least like 170 or lower it, HP, it, unless it's it, a mega. It had 120 hit points, the Mew EX. And, that, and it has to stay alive for at least two one turns. turn. At and least I think you one. You only need like a double colorless, so though, on it to be able to use I'm pretty attacks. sure you probably do. That sounds like an attack that you don't but, need uh, double colorless. You need that, for. a basic, and then a stage two line in play. Jeez. Which is kind of a tall order. That is a tall order, especially now. Venusaur. Oh, Lily. Well, actually, the format is slower, but it, it's unfortunate. No, it has not now. gotten slower. Like, you got you got Gardevoir, you got Metagross, Volcanion. Well, before, you didn't really have much time to get Stage 2s out. Well, you kind of did. You still have Rare Candies. You still have Rare Candies. Yeah, but now, every, before, everything was... EX, basic EX is not even really much Megas, just hitting hard before things yeah. could evolve, even with rare candy consistently. Now we have things that have so, enough time to Weasel. evolve. Twitadile. Torkoal. How? Oh, wow. Look at this. Back to back right here. Me too far. It's freaking great. Look, it's freaking nice. Any good, um, uh, shiny ones? Uh, so far I've just gotten Entei and Mewtwo, and then like are the ones I've gotten so far I've gotten Latios, um, a fairy energy that's shiny, double colors, and Electroid. I haven't gotten any of the shiny ones yet though. So we got two GXs already, Mewtwo four and Entei. Nice. So far these packs are going good. <laughs> Keep the streaks coming. Keep the streaks coming. And the thing about Shiny Legends is all of the codes are white too, so you don't even know if you're gonna get something good or not. I, I found the codes had both kinds, I thought. No. So far every code I've opened so far has been white. That's what Shiny Legends only. Two, three, four. Let's see what we get here. Perline. We got you. They reprinted you with the Oblivion Wing. They reprinted it. Pretty nice. So I can still play that. The art's really good too. And this is like the hollow. Energy Retrieval, Incineroar, Flower Gator, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Stunfisk. So far, not bad. I'm looking for the Hoopa though. I want that card. That card's really good. It's basically Ninetales. Well, for dark types. 
I want another one so I can put it in my deck. White code. One, two, three, four. Put energy here. We got Volcanera, Lightbird, Ultral. Against Bullet, Voltorb, Croconaw, Scraggy, Larvesta. I got Zorak. That's three times. That's three packs now. That's good, man. You can use them. First three packs. Got all these. <laughs> I'm gonna roll right now. I'm gonna roll. And I can put this number on. Now you just want the <laughs> secret rare Mew. Yeah. You too. That's the one I really want. Either that or the shiny Mew. Yeah. Okay, let's see. When I get out of this. And all the codes are white, so you don't even know what you're gonna get out of this, so. That's great. White code. Woo. One, two, three, four. No, you don't have to be disappointed by just seeing a green code. <laughs> the disappointment's gone. Pokemon Catcher, Volcano, Lightbird, Shroomish, Minun, Quellfish. Yay, Zora! Now I can actually use the thing. <laughs> oh, you bought some. What's that? Some of them Guardians Rising? Guardians Rising. I was nice. trying to get a Lele, but. Lele's have been avoiding me. And the one time that my friend wanted to split packs with me when he bought the Charizard one, I said no. Not only did he pull a Lele, but he pulled a Secret Rare, the Volcanian, the gold one. I'm like. No, I, I was Damn. done. And I was the one who pulled it too, because it was in that one pack, and he let me open it. He's like, last pack I hear, we thought it was going to be garbage, and I pulled that one. I'm like, no, no. Ooh, got the Shaman. So, so far, the only shining ones that, well, this isn't the shining one. Uh, so far, the only shining ones I've really gotten so far is Shaman and Latios and Marshadow. You could get that Mewtwo and then the Shining Mew. You could use it with Latios. Yeah. That's what I've been doing online. What I want to do with Latios is like make Latios like Espeon instead of Garbodor because yeah. Latios it does 30 to the active and 30 to the bench to so spread damage mm -hmm. basically. I want to do that. That's what so, I've been doing online. <laughs> it's fine. I'm trying to finish my Espeon deck online. I can't get my third <laughs> Espeon because everybody wants to trade. Everyone wants to trade Espeons for packs. White code. Two, three, four. Oh, you got the mat. <laughs> nice. Oh, I got easy mat. <laughs> Dude, any mat's fine. These are like really good quality. Yeah. Psychic energy. Electroid. Oh yeah, I got the four up one breeder. Nice. That was the first like that was like the Mewtwo one that I bought. That I got the Pokemon Breeder. Ooh, we got Spirit Tomb. Yay! I needed this. Arresta, Perline, Minon, Stunfisk, Berlin, Super Scoop Up. Another one. <laughs> I got two four Pokemon Breeders now. Let's go. You know that they released the um. Buzzwell and Pheromos today, right? Yeah, I know. Did you I want notice, those. Did you notice that they had Invasion, uh, oh, invasion oh, oh, booster packs in there? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Finally. So the Buzzwell and the Pheromosa? They no, actually have Crimson no, Invasion packs, packs in them. Exactly. That's they the have thing. They have them in there. You can get them before. I got it at Target. It's crazy, no, they're, You they're can literally go down to the Target down in Smoky Point and get them. Exactly. I went into Target and I looked at them and I'm like... I'm not gonna say nothing, bro. I'm just gonna buy and go. Then I see more. So I take Electroid, Warp Energy. Nice. But, I mean, it's good but at the same time, I can't believe they released it for accident. Uh, well, Pikachu, uh, Jinx, um, Lily, the big and Mammothy. Walmart, Target, and such. They have a vendor that runs that area where uh, of all the boosters and stuff. Two more packs left. And Two more. that vendor does not really usually care. 
No, yeah, that's, I, that's fine, fine by me. That's fine by me, man. I got him early. They break street day left and right, and unfortunately they can do that because they're giant companies. That's fine by me. I, I mean, I don't care. I, mean, I get it early. <laughs> I get it early. It's, it's, it's what annoying code? For, the, uh, for everyone else, though, yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> This box has been great. <laughs> Got Entei, Michi, Zoroar, Pokemon Breeder, Full Art, Cineroar, Owl, Great Ball, Corkle, Ivysaur. On the dice, heads is even or odd, right? Heads is even, odd is tails. Okay. Shroomish. Letting uh, Stunfish. Ooh, Shiny Jirachi. Finally, first one. Let's go. And it's a really good attack, too. Shiny Stellar Rain. Uh, basically, it's basically Espeon, but weaker. Because it does 10 damage, and then... Uh, oh, it's only active, though. That's why. Stellar Rain's only for active, not for, like, all of them, like Espeon is. That's bad. The still cars, cars, because the only reason Espeon is good right now is because there's a bunch of Pokemon that need evolutions. Like Metagross, you got Gardevoir, you got uh, like you got the other decks that have these stage ones or stage twos. I think the only deck that's not really affected by it is Volcano. That's that's it. Greninja is already bad, and then yeah. he gets wrecked by Espeon, so that's already dead. And then, what's it? The last deck I think that's considerably good is probably either Espeon Garb or Darkrai. And Darkrai doesn't even need anything, it's just Darkrai. Right. In fact, when they made the Darkrai GX, they pretty much made it better. And then they threw in the freaking Hoopa, which is pretty much Ninetales. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you guys just... I was actually happy with Hoopa. Yeah, me too, because I'm going to put that in my Umbreon deck as soon as yeah. I can be another one. I have one right now. The pull rate for Hoopa is insanely... Like, you'll get one. I haven't got one out of this yet. <laughs> I've gotten two Spirit Tomb. Now. Two Spirit Tomb. I haven't got another Hoopa yet. It's my last pack. Oh, you got a full art game too. Yeah. What's my last one going to be? So this, uh, shiny Steel Energy. Oh, Keldeo. Hey. So. Pretty much. All my comments here. Let's see. Reverse ones were Super Scoop Up, Weasel, Larvesta. Uh, this was a hollow. So actually, your yeah, Vectel stays there. Carline, Lat How, Electroid. Got double colors. So two shiny energies and then just one warp. And then one double colors. Not bad. And then all my full cards. I got two full out of that box plus Intense Zork. That's that's a great box overall. Have you ever opened a box where you got absolutely nothing? No, nope, not once. <laughs> not once have I done that. There was one time I thought it would happen and then I pulled a what do you call it? A Northern. Nice. And then next day, I open up one more pack for uh, Rainbow Rare Northern. I'm like, the Northerns are calling to me, guys. They're calling. <laughs> They're calling to me. Did I lose the burn? I'm trying to make my Umbreon deck actually playable. Because <laughs> it's good, but it's not fast enough for Gardevoir. Like, if I run into Guardian with Umbreon, I'm dead. Yeah. Just done. <laughs> And then Metagross, it heals way too easily, you just switch off, max potion. The only deck that I think I'm actually going to do good well against is Volcanion. With Umbreon, that's all I'm going to do good with. I mean, I'm still learning, so I've just been using a Psychic deck and all the basic, you know, water grass decks. Yeah, uh, I think my best deck... Just to say that counters all my other ones is a little in nine tails because I use two of the ones with the ability and then the two of them without the ability. And then I throw in Glaceon. That nine tails always gives me trouble. That's why you have to run basics yep. Pokemon now because you have to have to find a way around that. That's good though. I mean, like, That's, which is actually good. Yeah, more strategies. Oh, that was nice. Oh, wow.
Really good box. I hate running into I hate running into all the nine tails though. When I run into I'm like no. <laughs> Well, I think the only thing that can get through it's, what do you call it, the barrier thing, is Jolteon's first attack, because it's not affected by any abilities or anything, so that's really the only thing that can get through it, which is really good. 30, 20 if you put Kukui in there, 60 if you throw a choice band. Only promise is for active only, so you're, at the max you're probably going to do 80 damage. Yeah. No, we're we're down here still. So just that, uh, sorry. Just waiting for all the Pokemon players to come in. Well, I'm not sure of the balance. Uh, that was fun. No, no. Really good box though. We start. We we're, we're starting. Yeah, we're. Like, I consider this, like, my best box opening I've ever done so far. And the best part is they finally reprinted the event, so I can still use it. Uh, two full arts, and then two GXs. And then a Shining Pokemon, my first one. And then, like, two hot foils of Yveto, Keldeo, Latio. Well, actually, four, because I got Shaman and Latios. So, I got two of them that I didn't have, and then one that I have right now, but not in foil. And then I got Spirit Tomb, which I didn't have at all. And Spirit Tomb is decently good, it has low HP though. Like the first roll pull keeps your opponent from retreating, but Curse Drop damage spread is fine, but it's so weak. It just gets knocked down. Yeah. Like, the only way I'd run this thing is if I was running, like, a deck that needs to do that. Just spread a bunch of damage in the beginning. Huh? Yeah, we're only playing with four, and then you're building 40-card deck. Because oh, you guys went to the pre-release so far already? Uh, yeah. I went to... I went to the one here a couple days ago. When was that one? That one was, like... Was it Sunday? It looks like it was Sunday. Yeah. A lot of people did pull like really good cards. That yeah, day. I wouldn't be surprised. I was watching one on YouTube. Uh, what do you call it? Pulled a Savali, a Lone Execute. Uh, what do you call it? Then I pulled a uh, Rainbow Rare Savali. The guy with the hat, right? Yeah, the Trainer TV. Yeah. yeah. I was watching that. I was like, no. <laughs> Four cards, four cards, four cards, four cards. Oh gosh, I was like, how? Yeah, the, the four cards are gonna be face down. Unless you have a card that, you know, there's four, four. four. What do you mean four and four? Four cards. There's only four cards. Though. There's only four cards on the left oh, side. Oh great. Take it off the yeah, take it yeah off. this is my what you call it so far anyway. All I've gone for Shining Legends plus this. Nice. Oh, uh, they also released a Zoroark pack, too. I'm probably gonna get that, because I need at least two Zoroark from my Umbreon deck, and I'm probably gonna take out both my, uh, what do you call your Beto EX, so I'm not gonna need those. Yeah, got me a Warp Energy. And a Double Colors, which I have a lot of. I can't wait until Shiny Legends is actually, like, legal, so that I can use the, what do you call it, where is it? Well, all I've been waiting for. Where Next is it? Next up was the Crimson Invasion. Uh, as soon as it becomes legal, I'm gonna start throwing in my, I'm gonna start throwing in my Raikou at the top of Gogo. <laughs> That's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, I better start learning even faster. Yeah, the format's slow right now, so that's the only good news. Yeah, I got more codes though, so I can use them on PC Joke. Instead of having to look on the useless trades in the public trade aisle, where they're just giving you the garbage. Mm -hmm. I think the only one that I was even thinking about worth considering was my, what do you call it, somebody wanted to trade the Psychic 
secret energy for like five packs. I'm like, no, it's worth. It, it looks like it's worth it, but no. Nobody wants to trade their SP arms. Everybody's looking for them. <laughs> And then nobody has, like, I found one person who had a Glacier on VX and they didn't want to trade it. I'm like, eh, why? Never get rid of your Lele. No, if you even ask for a Lele, you need to have 40 freaking packs. <laughs> or $100 in real life. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's if it's a 4. For you. Ah. Well, that's pretty much all for today. I just need to figure out what I'm going to put in my decks. So many comments. And I can't wait until they make grass types good again. <laughs> they already did. With Venus for Yeah. Genocide. I mean, it's not usable yet, but yeah. When are Shiny Legends going to be usable after Crimson Invasion? It's going to be usable in November. But Ooh. right when Crimson Invasion, a week after Crimson Invasion releases, I think. Mm. I wish it was legal now. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, Jungle Totem is really good though. Can't wait to use that. But I'm gonna have to keep getting the Shining Genocide if I wanna use it, right? Okay, no I haven't got the Shiny Genesis, I've gotten Shiny Jirachi. You can't evolve him on your first turn. But after Unless you have Wally. -E. Use Wally -E and evolve Unless you have Wally. -E. Um, wait, that's a, that's a trainer card. Um, yeah, supporter. Supporter. What was I gonna say? You have to use basic and then on your next turn you can put the uh, evolution on it. There's certain circumstances like forest yeah. giant plants that would you allow have you. the second card. So let's say you had a photo dial, you're gonna need that crop and to put it, you know, evolve it. But if you only have that card. So you can Best box ever. Until you Pretty have much it though. So yeah, yeah. Logging out. So you can't put these Peace. cards out if you have a